on the up and up. No, he can't be. We're just not looking hard enough. Get him! What? How am I supposed to watch my stories now? Yeah, get him! You come back here and say he's perfect, you! Wowzers! I guess they didn't find my color scheme all that soothing. Huh? Hmm. Why would an old folks home need a room full of hazardous chemicals? Maybe it's some kind of new protein shake. We've what? got to be here somewhere. I'm going to give that painter such a shame. <laughs> A slide, too? This place has everything. The good Dr. Claw really spared no expense for these lucky people. Uh-huh. Touted as the most compassionate man in the world, Dr. Claw has extended his philanthropic efforts to all parts of the globe. By his actions, the United Nations has invited Dr. Claw to address its General Assembly. Dr. Claw at the United Nations? That smells like trouble. This must be a secret office. Uh, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Sure. We can secretly redecorate the office and make a good impression on Mr. Weston. Oh, no. Ah, uh, great idea, Lieutenant. And you and I can look for clues. Digit, would this diagram of the United Nations building qualify as a clue? Not to be overly critical, but Mr. Weston's taste in art leaves a lot to be desired. Who would want a diagram of the United Nations building hanging on their wall? It says here he's giving a big speech there later today. Let's get out of here quick and call Penny before we get caught. Wowzers! Trying to get away from us, are you? Who knew old people could move so fast? <laughs> Why, Penny, what a surprise! What are you doing here? Oh, well, I... Why, she, uh, flew in with her class to listen to Dr. Claw's speech, of course. Of course. <laughs> Uncle Gadget, I'd love to introduce the Gadgetinis to our new foreign exchange student. We'll be right back. Okay, hurry back so I can read you the poem I wrote in honor of Dr. Claw. Care recently bought a chemical plant known to make mind control gas. So that's why we found all those toxic chemicals at the old folks' home. This certainly sounds more like the Dr. Claw we've all come to know and mistrust. Hey. <gasps> Shh. I know you're anxious to hear it, so now for my poem. <clears throat> Is a claw by any other name still a claw? He's the most delightful man that you never saw. There's more, but uh, do you think you'll like it? You bet. We need to get moving fast. Speaking of your poem, Lieutenant, apparently the Secretary General heard about it and wants you to read it today before Dr. Claw's speech. Wowzers, that is amazing. Especially since I just finished writing it. Oh, wowzers. Uh, I'll just step into a washroom and clean off the rest of this paint. No need to, sir. It turns out this is a map to your uh, private dressing room. A private dressing room? Wowzers. Does Dr. Claw's warmth know no bounds? He used to be evil and break the law. But now he's a good boy. That swell Dr. Claw. According to this, you need to go to the boiler room directly beneath the General Assembly. Will do. Where are you going? I have a call to make. Five minutes till you're on, Dr. Claw. Such a sweet child. I detest making nicey nice. 
Don't worry, you won't have to go on with this charade much longer. Once you ask the world leaders to donate all their country's assets to Globocare, I'll hit the button that releases the mind control gas, they give their treasuries to us, and voila! We're rich! <laughs> Me. Uh, I mean, you're rich. I'm just happy to be part of the team. That's what I thought you said. I wonder why my dressing room is so far out of the way. They probably don't want you to uh, intimidate the other performers with your amazing poem. This must be the place. How wonderful. They even provided me with my own ballets. Take the night off, fellas. The privates here are more than capable of... And when Dr. Claw climbed up out of that well, not only had he rescued baby Jennifer, but he had also set her pony's broken leg. Is this a great guy or what? <laughs> like a gas bomb to you? Yep, and it's leading right into the ventilation system. Let's go get it! You fellas are lucky I'm not ticklish. Is that a gift basket for me? Oh, you guys are the best. Don't worry, I'm sure there's plenty for everyone. And that's why everyone seems in favor of renaming the Nobel Peace Prize the Dr. Claw Peace Prize. So without any further ado, let me introduce... Or what? The decorators? Uncle Gadget, it's time to go up to the podium to read your poem. It's about time. Hold this, would you? Go, go, Gadget Rockets. Wowzers! Go, go, Gadget Air Brakes! Wait a minute. I don't have air brakes. Get off of me. I work for Dr. Claw, the world's leading humanitarian. Fiddlefat, you and Dr. Claw are up to no good. Thanks to the courage of some of our geriatric residents, we discovered a huge stock of mind control gas hidden in my leisure land. You're fired, Weston. You can't fire me. You don't own Global Care anymore. Yes, I do. This criminal behavior voids Dr. Claw's contract, so I resume control of Global Care. Why would you do such a thing? <laughs> To take over the world, good old. Well, you're an awful, awful man. You should be ashamed of yourself. Well, actually, I'm quite proud. <laughs> Is it time for me to do my poem yet? <laughs> Wowzers, what a week. Dr. Claw turned out to be evil after all. I don't mean to brag, but I sort of knew it all along. I'm busy, Gadget. All work and no play makes... Silence! I've got so much paperwork to do and that I have a meeting in 45 minutes. In other words, I've got no time for you! Huh? Somebody is a little tense. I have just the thing to relax you, sir. I know how much you love to dance, so when I heard the Parisian performers were in town, I invited them over to entertain. Well, Gadget, <laughs> it looks like perhaps you finally got something right. Enjoy yourself, Colonel. He's having 
having the time of his life. 